my prince. Yes. I understand perfectly where you are coming from and your position on this matter. And believe me, the youth also understand it that way. There is one thing I want you to do for me. You see, this morning we'll be having our meeting. Please, I want you to come around and address the youth by yourself. So that Nzobiora and his co-travelers will feel that I am pained by the things that they do. Silence, Ibezim. Silence is golden and I have chosen to remain silent. And let the gods speak. My prince, I don't want to have anything against your decision. If this is the way you want it, then let it be. I was told that Silas gave the youth um, <laughs> a whooping sum of five million naira. You turned it down, is that true? Not only that, my prince. Do you know, he also promised to give us three. One, two, three bosses. According to him, so that we can function well when the international market kicks off. And we told him we are not interested. Do you know what? <laughs> I think he's still battling with that shock. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't be shocked? I was when I heard of it. He goes to show that um, you guys know what you're doing. You know, I was surprised too. Because it was as if we had a meeting before then to take such decisions. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we, we never met. He was still speaking when the whole youth, with one voice, told him to leave with his five million naira and even forget about the bosses. Do you know? Do you know? We even told him that, okay, if eventually the gods decide to make him king and even the one to be in charge of the international market, then at that point, uh, we will now understand that that's the decision of the gods who will now come and discuss with him. You all have done well. You all have done well, eh? Um, I would like to give the youth the sum of one million now, just to make merry. Just so that you all know that you're not working with any great. No, oh, now, nah, my priest. You don't need to disturb yourself so much. What for now? Eh? I'm not here now. I'm not going to go to Jago. 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 So you did in the car, no? Let me make the cash available to you. Ikedi bo mo koma. Ikedi bo mo koma is a boy who no go. This is the kind of person we need to work with. I'm not in there. Job your job, you man. I think I'm happy with this man. <sighs> Morning. No, don't worry, my daughter. I'm almost done. Mama, yes. why are you the one sweeping? Where is Belinda? Yes. Uh, she traveled to Abagana to see my brother. And she didn't tell us? Uh, it, it wasn't planned. But everything is all right, though. So what do you want? Okay, Mama. Her number has not been connecting. Sadly. Please, when she comes back, tell her we're here to see her. Okay, I will. Maybe it's battery issue, but I will tell her. She will soon be back, though. Eh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, my regards to your mother, so. Come on, mama. Oh, mama. Mm. Please. In my capacity as the current head of administration, 
in the Mungen Kingdom. With written and signed approval of all the men in leadership positions in Numungene. Having fulfilled all the requirements in our constitution as amended, I hereby crown you His Royal Majesty Eze Omenka for Onanya One of Umungene Kingdom. Your glorious reign commences now. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much, my elders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel honored to be found worthy and fit for this crown. Omenka Folonaya Gemepuyozo Unafuya. And, and to my beautiful, <laughs> outstanding, <laughs> alluring, and shining queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> you are such a blessed woman. From a princess to a queen. queen. <laughs> what else could you have asked for? I mean, nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, my husband. <laughs> beautiful one. I will make you the happiest woman on earth. Mm. Henceforth, you will swim in the ocean of wealth and happiness. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Mm, please sit. Thank you, my husband. Hmm. 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 Hey. Oh, oh, hey, this again, this again. This again, this again. Hey. Mm. Oh, <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. we, we have to. Look. <coughs> ah. uh, what is that? <coughs> Look at him. We have already crowned him. Then he collapsed on his throne. Exactly. Father, the evil forces are at work. They are at work, please. They, they will not support. succeed. Amen! For our Lord Jesus Christ has made the public show of the devil. Amen. 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 Patri et Fili et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Amen. I command you, evil spirit occupying this body, to leave in the name of Jesus. For you have no place here. Amen. 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 Father, what is that this issue? I don't think this is a spiritual issue. <laughs> you should have called in a doctor. What is wrong with my husband? He's dead. We don't have to stand like this. Mm. At least we need to dismiss the people before another calamity happens. Mm. Yes, I've done that already. I've also asked some women to consult the princess. Mm -hmm. A king is dying on the day of his coronation mm -hmm. and on his throne. I have never seen a thing like this before. Mm -hmm. Abomination! Who could have done this? Who else is after us and the poison the mind of the prince? It is Obu Efisi He threatened me last week. Is a chijoke. 
you will go with me. And for the rest, you take care of the remains. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss on the burial when we come back. Uh. Where is you? That is the man. That is the wizard. You have to teach him the lesson of his life. Yes. See him. What? Are these the people you called us to come and beat up? Or will you see Wilpo Agba and the crown prince of our land? Oh, don't shut up, you head of vigilante. We are the people who pay you every month and you must carry out our instructions. Yes. Beat them up. Excuse me, sir. You pay us every month, does not mean we should start moving around and start beating people that have done nothing wrong. Okay, let me tell you. He's a, a wizard. He's a wizard. He's an evil man who has links with all the occults on earth. It's from here that he sent the evil forces that killed Onwa of Umungene kingdom after we crowned the king. He has to pay for his evil. Yes, he has to pay. Pay! Look at him! Look at now! Please, we're innocent, sir. Please, don't, don't, don't kill us. We have no idea about this, sir. They just came and called us. Please, don't kill us. Don't kill us. Get us in my compound. Thank you, sir. Get up! Thank you, sir. God bless you. Could this be what I'm thinking? The gods. The gods are not asleep. <laughs> Thank God you'll save my husband. Three deaths in just a day? <sighs> Something is wrong somewhere and I am very scared. Who could be behind this? Is it the prince? It can't be the prince. He is not that fast. All fingers are pointing at the evil man. Obuefi Siwekwayo. Linda. Nani. From what is going on in Umugene right now, I do not think that Obuefi Siwekwayo is the evil one. How do you mean? If the confirmed wizard is not the evil man, then who is the one? Is it you? Huh? Really big in Dolue. Oh. Bigger than okay. I expected. You do not need to murmur it. It is indeed very big. Three deaths in one day. I mean, there is no way anyone can describe that if not tragic. As the days go by, I'm beginning to understand even more the power of the truth. But I feel you should have gone to see the chief priest instead of coming back home. Oh, if you asked me to go back home, oh. I will handle it. Merego. Oh, Merego. Hmm. What do you draw one on? Without mixing words, we should be thinking of how to move forward. Merego got one. I can't believe that in Zobiora and in Zetidoke and no more. Gone like that. Zokeke. 
we have already buried the dead. This is no longer time to lament. We must move on. That's why we are here. Nzeake Kuchawan, you are the one that convened this meeting. So we are going to allow you to define how we are going to proceed. Exactly. It is obvious that the gods have a hand in what happened. Exactly what my spirit is telling me. But I wanted it to come from you. They were killed by the gods. So we have to be very careful going forward. We cannot just conclude that they were killed by the gods. So it is not a conclusion that we can reach without a proper guide. So who is going to give us a guide? The same way from we use a that will conclude there in council here never to consult again. But the question is, how do we do that? How? Jokeke. Ejolum can do on your dee. Ejolum can do on your every hour, no, Bojo Dolo. Oh, Bojo Dolo. Get it, I guess, Carlos Yangene, not a Kulungan. I Carlos Yaban, I don't want to have an you look at it, they say something now. the meaning of what you just said? The rubbish they said is that the gods killed my father. And therefore, he will be forgotten now that he has been buried. We are not even permitted to mourn him. Deep down in my heart, I nursed this pain because you were the one that killed my father. What is, what exactly is going on? Are you trying to tell me that Silas, the Owa of Omongene, was your father? Yes. Owa was my father. You married him because of his wealth. Am I lying? Listen, woman, you're such a loser. I am in charge of his business and the co-signatory to all his accounts. As his nest of king, I will make sure you leave this house with nothing. What am I dreaming? What is happening? That Silas is your father and you are his nest of kin? He never told me that. Well, I don't know what he told you. Omar was my father and all this why he walked with the elders to become king. I was the one in charge of his businesses. How could you do this to me? That means he lied to me. He never told me the truth. I don't have an answer to that. But I will give you a condition. A condition? Yes. What condition? Okay. Listen. You have not mourned your husband because you are not permitted to. Hmm? So technically, you are not a widow. I will make you the mother of my children. Yes. What? Have you gone mad? Can you hear yourself speak? You, my late husband's son, wants to make me his wife. 
What sort of abomination do you want to commit? Listen, we are men that make money the hard way. Whatsoever you call abomination has nothing where we are. Whatsoever that belonged to my father now belongs to me. I will make you the mother of my unborn children. That is the only way you can remain here. But if you refuse, you are free to go. You have to leave before you see the other side of the son of the mafia. Oh. I'm doomed. I am doomed. Silas, what did I ever do to you to deserve this? Hello. Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Please, I need a vital information from you. Because everything is crashing before my very own eyes. I'm sorry about what happened. Please accept my condolences. I also need you to make inquiries about the account. I'm sorry, madam. But you can no longer make inquiries on the account. You are no longer a signatory to the account. What are you saying? You gave me the form and I filled it. What are you saying? Yeah, but then your late husband came to the bank later and changed it back to what it used to be. Edmund Ilo, his son, is the beneficiary of the account. If you need to know anything about the account, get him to make the call. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my. I am finished. Silas. So all you did was for me to say yes? Oh. <laughs> what have I landed myself? What have I done? I have already given her a condition that will guarantee her stay. If she agrees, then we are fine. And what condition did you give her? That she will be my wife. Yes. She will be the mother of my unborn children. If she refuses, she leaves. Edmond, do you actually realize that Princess Asanze is older than you, sir? And you think I cannot marry her? Makitu, give me a break. Age is just bought a number. Makitu. My father made an excellent choice in her, and I am ready. I mean, I am prepared to love her genuinely. Edmond, you better start in time to forget about that ambition of yours. Asanze can never agree to offer herself to you. Besides, it is even an abomination. Ha -ha. Then tell her. Tell her to be prepared. She will go. Your father dealt the gods and the ancestors and he paid heavily for it. He paid the ultimate price. Do not make the same mistake. Hmm? And what has the gods and the ancestors got to do with my desire to marry a beautiful woman? Makutu, have you been looking at that babe? Have you seen her shape? The figure? The book? Makutu, that babe is Outstandingly beautiful. Shut up. All I know is that you have been lost in after your late father's wife. Even while he was alive. You are sick. How dare you? Get away from me now before it consumes you. Makito, do you know what? You are fired. How dare you talk to me like that? Edmond, you cannot fire me. For I already made up my mind to leave. Working with your father was a mistake, and staying with you would be a disaster. You were so lucky that I did not come down with my gun. I would have blasted your head open right now. Right now. Edmond, you cannot kill me. I need to remind you, or rather advise you, not to come for me. Because if you try it, I mean if you dare, I'm going to turn you off.
Mm. Mm. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> mm. Visitor. Oh, this is your glass, eh? I'll take mine with this. Can I go to my call the quaker? You can have your drink, eh? Thank you. Are you visited? Uh, um, your friend, the prodigal princess. Is back in the palace. Uh, are you aware? Yes, I am. I was with her yesterday at the palace and she was lamenting so bitterly. I mean, why is she lamenting now? When she knows she is the core architect of her misfortunes, listen, she shouldn't be allowed to hold anyone responsible. How do you mean? I mean, she was married to Onwa. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Which marriage? <laughs> she wasn't married to anyone. The so-called marriage to Sela Silo was a mere aberration. An aberration? What a very strong word to use. Vivian, let me ask you one question or two. Okay. To whom was her bright price paid? To the elders. Who destroyed this land? Who gave her out in marriage? The same evil elders. You see, my happiness is that finally we saw how they ended up. You see, your friend, the princess, she needs to thank her stars. Or she would have died in the process. You are sounding as if the youth executive had already discussed it in a meeting. We have not. We are only trying to console a sister. You know? We cannot share in her pains. She was never married. That is an obvious fact. And her prayer now should be let the right man come for her, whom she can call. Her own. Don't, don't forget she's beautiful. She is. Take your drink, please. Obuevi. Hmm? I, I am thinking that we should go ahead with our original plan of crowning Ikedni the king. Ibezim, this land is terribly desecrated. So, and uh, I am waiting for things to be put on proper perspective. Things okay. like the breeze of deceit and evil that filtered in into this kingdom. And you're waiting for that breeze to travel very far from here before we can think of anything. Hmm. But my, my concern is when will this time be? Listen, the men, all the men who perpetuated the sacrilege, all of them must present themselves for spiritual cleansing. It must happen before we can think of any coronation. Hmm? I see. I see. Uh, that reminds me. Someone told me he saw you taking cows to Ajanugu and Obimbako. Exactly. You have a problem with that? I'm just asking them. Those are cows. Cows we promised to the ancestors. We pleaded with them that if they will allow what was stolen from us to be restored, that we are going to give them cows. And that's exactly what they did for us, and that's why we took the cows to the, 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 the deities that you just identified. Okay. The ceremony will start by 2 p.m. today, and everyone is invited. Anuya can Today. Go and tell other people. Ah. Let them gather that place so we can, we can celebrate. Ah! <laughs> Thanks to the gods. So. Huh. Yeah. Thanks to the gods. Yeah. My prince, I am really happy for you. Thank you. You know, Obimbako and Ajahn Yoku yesterday. were filled with people. 
people who were genuinely happy. You could see Omun Gene come to life again. The youth came out in mass. I was shocked. They were there dancing merry. You know, we had three cows. And the you missed. <laughs> you missed. You should have been there. Uh, you should have been there. You missed. Mm -hmm. You missed. But however, it turned out well. Uh, it turned out well. Good to know. Good to know. It turned out well. You have really won the battle. Thank you. You can see how all your enemies are all perishing. Ah. You know that um, what is happening right now to these men were not my original intention. My, my, my hope was that, you know, we can all be alive and witness a new Omunga. These men brought this upon themselves. That's just the truth. And everyone is aware of that. And based on what has happened, mm. you will equally need to hold the big ceremony here in the palace. <laughs> and I, Dulwe, will be donating one million naira to that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ndulwe. Ndulwe, thank you very much. As for another ceremony, we'll have to hold off on that for now. Um, and watch all unfolding events get to the climax um, before we can reconverge again and celebrate. But at that point, I'd like to have the love of my life, Belinda. <laughs> Belinda. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. We have to see what we can have. You are the great man of my kingdom, and that is why I always come to you. I have discussed extensively with the prince, and I am in a position to confirm to you that he is not happy with the debts. And no one is happy with the debts. Because those men went too far in their determination to prove that the gods are dead. And the gods are not dead. Of course I know. I know. So, uh, the gods decided to prove themselves by themselves. That is it. So, there is no other option than, uh, I have to tell you, go to the prince, tell him to uh, take things easy. Let him not get angry at all. So, no, I believe as the eye of the gods, you know more than us. So, you should be able to tell me what is the way forward. The way forward is that the man have not actually made up their mind to come to me. At least for purification and cleansing. Rather, they are planning for that. More onslaught, wanting to continue in their evil way, in their mistakes. And that is why the gods are watching them. The gods decided to keep quiet and watch. And my very self at my position, I, I am equally sitting, watching them from afar. Okay, as you are watching them from afar, are you confirming to me that you can then go ahead and start planning for the coronation? I have not confirmed such and I will never, never confirm such. At all. Because there is no peace in the air at the moment. There must be peace first and foremost before any king will emerge and survive it. Because the emergence of a new king definitely will bring down the peace. Yes. So, those men, instead of having a rethink, are continuing in undermining the gods, undermining the activities of the gods. Yeah. So, I, I, I just have to tell you this. From my angle, we have to sacrifice more days. We need to wait for more days, possibly weeks. Or maybe, as it pleases the gods. Mm 
Maka no kwa mantra, unde ne tupo ya fo no mata kwa ugazi obu po ya nya. What sort of insult is this? Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martin's. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. And then Ezazu told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezazu actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my God. What part of I am not disposed to see you don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ike will please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. Rubbish. What's going on here? He did absolutely nothing wrong to me. I was just being a fool. Greetings, my princess. What is it? One Edmond that introduced himself as the son of your late husband is outside. He said he wants to see you. He's outside now? Yes, my princess. All right, bring him in. Thank you, my princess. I know that you'll be wondering what I came here to do. I will advise you go straight to the point. I don't have all day. Okay, I will start by saying I am sorry. You're sorry? For what exactly? For the request. It dawned on me that I should not have made that request. A lot of things are going wrong in my business front. I made an inquiry and they said that your father is angry with my family and that he would destroy everything, everything we have if I don't make this move. How possible is that? I mean, what, where exactly are you driving at? My father died last year and he has been buried. So what are you saying? Your father was a king. He still has his eyes on his family. I want to pay for damage. Yes. I want to pay for the pain and frustration my father caused you. They say that you must forgive my family before your father will lose the spiritual grip he placed on my family. And what makes you think my forgiveness will be based on what you can pay? Uh, not in actually. I just felt I should not approach without a tangible offer. Princess. No, 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 no. You don't have to kneel. You don't have to. Edmund, listen. I do not have anything against you. As a matter of fact, I have forgiven you. You don't have to pay anything. I have moved on with my life. And I will advise you to do the same. Thank you. Ezazu will see you out when you're ready to leave. Okay. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Thank you. What a beautiful woman my father got for himself. She is not as greedy as I thought. I 
have been waiting for you to say something about our daughter and you're not doing anything. What do you want me to say? With all that has happened, don't you think it's time for you to go and bring our daughter back home? Eh? She's still a daughter of Umung in a kingdom. And I'm that to this family. See, now, in all honesty, you are treating that girl with so much contempt, And I, I, I don't like it though. Let me be sincere with you. I have been thinking about this all this while. But... I lack the face to open the discussion. If not that she stood her ground, my daughter would have been a widow by now. May God forbid. That is what we will always say. But you agree with me that I was more of a beast. I did not consider all that she was saying. Thank God she resisted me to the last. It's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Eh? Because of what was going on then, we all thought that Silas was the best for her. Now we know better. You, you need to go and bring her back. She's still our daughter. I want our family to come back the way it used to be. Pikonunu. I need my daughter back home. Let's go get seen on lazy. It's okay. It's okay. This one you are in the house. This side. Hmm. Uh, it's here you look the thing. You don't need to ask if there is a problem because obviously there is. I'm on my way to Nzake Kuchonwa's house. Mm. Uh, we need to find a solution to our problem. Listen, I had a terrible dream last night. I can't explain it. Nothing is working at all. Same here, my brother. Eh? Same here. I don't understand either. We don't need to waste time. Let's go. Let's go and meet him. <laughs> I was thinking of calling a meeting. But I'm glad we all got out on our own. Zake Uchoma, a man whose house is on fire does not go after rats. Listen, something is wrong somewhere and we cannot continue to pretend as if nothing is wrong. Mzo Keke, we all need to understand that we are all in this problem together. You all, you, you know my, my son Chikosi, the one with his senior brother Tungbo, helping him with his business. Uh, yes, we know him. What about him? Chigozie took ill mysteriously. And from all indication, it is obvious it is not something hospital can handle. His brother has been restless ever since then. I have been thinking of going to war myself. But then, I think all is not well with me. I hardly sleep at night. It is from one nightmare to another. Same Yenze. We are all experiencing the same problem. In fact, as I talk to you, I don't sleep at night because I am afraid of nightmares. <laughs> so what do we do now? Now, let us humble ourselves and go to the chief priest. Eh? What will the people say? Ah, don't you think they will report us in the church? Hmm. What have they done since we shot ourselves in the legs? Oh. Huh? Let the people say what they like. We must take the bull by the horn. It is our problem. That's it. That's it. And we must solve it together. Listen, I'm ready. We can't even start going from here. Oh, 
ebi ni eji gba di ka ka eku oyo ni ko ku mache gba buru oku aka no ke di oji na ri ji na ogbe maka no nya won oku na ri ya ni ibe ni ibe agwo fu de na mapu oya fo no won to ga zo pupo oya nya i said there is something Agwo fu mbe mo je yonu Agwo fu kru de na tu fo ya fo no fu kwa ga so fu fo ya nya Oguma gana The chameleon said this For the fact that the forest is on fire will not make me lose the dignified walking steps of my fathers. I intentionally decided to wait for you because the moment a neke, a neke the bird starts flying without perching, then the hunter, the shooter, will equally begin to shoot without aiming. Obuevi, we is over. Nine, please. We are here with grieved hearts. We are here for solutions. All we've been hearing since we got here are proverbs. Yes, says a mom. Please, the eyes of the gods. Speak to us in the language that you can understand. Please. And Proverbs, we cannot do without. Proverbs, we can never, never do without. Two things are involved. Two things are involved. First and foremost, you have to go to the very one you offended and tender an apology. Yes. Secondly, all of you, must be prepared to pass through the great sacred and ancient ritual of marking of tongues. Ika Manile. You were parading yourselves as Zenozo, while you are not. So, by passing through the sacred and ancient ritual of Ika Manile, you, uh, you will become part of the Zenozo group. Failing to do that, it means you go and announce to the entire people of Umungen that you are no longer part of the Nozo group. I repeat, you have to go around the entire kingdom of Umungen and let the people know that you are no longer members of the Nozo group. Hmm. I really wish if you refer to yourselves as the Nozo anymore. In this land, without doing what I've asked you to do, that is the marking of tongue, the ancient sacred ritual of Ikamanile. For you wish to undergo the ritual of ancient and sacred Ikamanile, marking of tongues, what you will see, what you will pass through, what you will experience will be more deadly, will be more dangerous than what they saw. What you will see, what you will pass through. Oh, boy, thank you, Dalo. Exactly, oh, boy. That is why we are here. Yes. We did not even go back to our various houses. Yes. Immediately, the chief priest said all that he said. We decided to come see you immediately. Please, make it easy for us. Oh, Bikukene. Obuefi, please, we are sorry for our past behaviors. Biko, tamper justice with mercy. Yes, Obuefi. Biko. Obuefi, if we can tamper, no, no. Obuefi, please, we are ready to change our ways for good. Please. The last time the others were in my compound, 
they came to warn me to desist from the truth. Finally today, elders are here in my lobby to embrace the same truth. Hmm. I am indeed very impressed because it shows we are making progress in the kingdom. Exactly, Obwevi. We've made progress. We have known the truth. But our peace is being taken away. Mm. We are being tormented by forces that we cannot explain. Those are the forces that keep the land. Yes. Even um, Jesus the Christ in your Bible. If you ask those that read Bible, they will tell you that he mentioned of principalities and powers in the Bible and went for that to talk about some spirits in high places. Who are the principalities? Who are the powers? You may not be able to understand. But let me ask you. Now, if you are not at peace with the principalities that are in charge of a particular area, how can you live in peace there? Let us not go into all these so three dimensions. Tell us what to do to be free again. Exactly what the chief priest already said. Chief priest has already told you what you are going to do. I cannot add anything. Okay. The prince was the person you offended, not me. The prince is determined to restore sanity in our land. Therefore, if now you have decided to be right at the same page with the prince, I think you have to go to him and explain yourselves. Let me tell you, the prince is a nice guy. He's going to listen to you. Okay? Oh, Boyfi. Biko, if I may ask, uh, are you going to go with us? Yes. <laughs> yes. Go with you, there's no problem. But if you want to move me, you are going to move me with a ram and the ten tubas of yam. Oh, 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 Belinda, my darling, calm down. Listen, this victory is a victory for all of us so that we can move on. Uh, as the good people of Omunkene, it is not a victory so that we can hold animosity against anyone. Huh? Well, you're right, my prince. You know I can never argue with you. But I'm not just going to pack my things and leave my uncle's house back to my father's house. He has to call my uncle to apologize. That is the only way my uncle will believe that he's truly sorry for making the house unbearable for me. True, true. I see sense in what you're saying. Um, and I am sure that your father would not have a problem with apologizing. You know my father is very stubborn. And it's that stubbornness that got us to where we are right now. My love, calm down. Listen, it is a new era in Omo Ingene, and we must learn to forgive, not just forgive, but forgive and forget. Okay? Your father will do what is right. Okay? Of course, babe, you know I love you. Eh? I love you so much, and I can't wait to hold you in my arms forever. And I love you too, my prince. I love you so, so much, and I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Belinda. <laughs> I'm sure it's that your man that always keep you company through phone calls. Yes, Uncle. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oh, I love that. Relax. Be happy. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. See you later. Thank okay, you, Uncle. <laughs> I am very glad that finally we are sitting like this again. 
in the palace, right before the prince. I am indeed very delighted. <laughs> Although it cost us one ram and ten tubas of yam to bring you here with us, we are still happy we have you here. Agreb Jonga, please. Don't stand that way. Don't make it appear as if I have defrauded you. That is not the case. What you gave me is my entitlement as the only properly initiated onion zenozo in Umungene presently. By the time you, 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 you submit yourselves and pass through that same process of a Kamanile, you all will be qualified to make the same demand from other people. My prince, without mixing words, we are sorry. We erred grievously by believing there are no gods and ancestors, by believing we can abandon the ways of our fathers and replace them with something else. We learned the hard way. We seek for your forgiveness, please. My prince, it is said that when a man defecates on his way up, that when coming back, he will be accosted by flies. Oh, we are indeed ashamed of ourselves. It is greed for money that made us do what we did. We are sorry, my prince. My prince, we have realized our mistakes. Mm. And we are ready to make amends. Yes. Thank you very much, elders. You have all spoken well. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Dal. You're welcome. I am very happy that we're all privileged. To be seated here together to devise ways in which this beautiful community can move forward. All I ever wanted was peace, unity, and justice. Collecting bribe, sleeping with all the people's wives. Depriving the less privileged of their rights. Selling lands in our community and sharing the money amongst yourselves. Collecting money from dubious politicians to perpetuate evil in Omungene does not in any way make for good qualifications for someone who calls himself an elder in council. <laughs> Talk more of one who claims to be an Uzenoz. Mm. It is not right. Mm. But all of that happened because we neglected the ways of our fathers. Definitely. Mm. Let me ask you. Mm. You all connived and watered down the prestigious things and also monetized it and made it available to all these little boys who come here to flaunt cash right in front of you. Even the Bible admonishes evil doers from perpetuating evil. In many places. We cannot live like that, you know, Mungena. For it is not right. Mm -mm. Now let me ask you. These men that you all collected monies from and made them believe that they were part of this fictitious organization that you set up, that you called in Zenozo Group, are they here right now to protect you from the wrath of the gods? Oh, they are not here. <laughs> Why? Because they feel they got what they paid for. And right now they are out of the picture. And you're here to face the bronze and live with the consequences of the actions that you have taken. But let me remind you all 
that if this man had gone through the ancient practice of Ikamanile, not only would they have acted accordingly, but they would have acted differently. Utu according. Utu according. Hmm? My prince, we are ready to go through the process. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Now. As well as well. I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, there is this beautiful adage that you use very often. <laughs> it is good that we have all agreed. I shall speak with the chief priest and we will pick a date. And I'll get back to you. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't be able to live without each other. Everything is fine now. Um, peace has returned to Umongi. The elders have accepted to do what um, they vehemently disagreed with and rejected. So we're all fine now. That is a good news. And I know that nothing, nothing will ever stop you from picking her as your wife. Nothing will stop me. Um, however, I'm still waiting on her father, Ichi Lobutife. He has a role to play um, in all of this. But as soon as he does what he's meant to do for us, we shall become man and wife. Oh, my prince. That will be great. Let me um, get you something to eat real quick before you head to Because you know how much I have missed your cooking. <laughs>